everybody, my name is Jerry, and today I'm going to be t uh, telling you a story about a little boy who was a bit, little, you know, naughty. But, you know, your mother or father always says, use your manners, use your manners. Well, yeah, but today, let's go dive into uh, Tommy's birthday party. Well, Tommy was the birthday boy who was turning eight this year. And he was sitting right there, having his cake, just about when he was blowing a candle. A knife came in, and nom nom nom. Six seconds later, a bunch of cakes blotted on his face. How embarrassing is that? Well, it turns out that Danny was next to him, and he was eating his cake, and got it even before the birthday boy. How rude is that? Well, most of us know what social mannerisms are. Social mannerisms are mannerisms that you use so other people will respect you and you will respect them. Let's take, let's take for example. First, taking cake after the bo birthday bl boy blows out the candle and eats his and get yourself a fair amount. Well, those are only a couple of simple ones. But other ones you should pay attention at every meal. Like not munching with your mouth open. And you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. You, um, and those things you should pay attention every day. Not just at birthday parties. But other things in the classroom. Everywhere you use social mannerisms. Even with talking to somebody, you look them in the eye and you start talking. You don't interrupt them suddenly, which might give them a scare. Well, such a lecture. Isn't there any fun of doing that? Well, friends sometimes notice your social mannerism. If you guys are eating a birthday party, just like in this case, nom nom nom, Danny, stop it. Well, well, yeah, in this case, Danny might not have so many friends as if he would he didn't chew that loud. Well that's my you know my guide on how to uh, pay attention to manners when you are at a birthday party and most of the time, including when you're in the classroom talking and much more. Well in conclusion, Danny was eating and he should pay attention to social mannerisms. I think that these social mannerisms will really help Danny become a better person.